Good morning everyone and welcome to our online service for Sunday the 21st of November which is the Sunday before Advent. This Sunday brings us to the end of the church's year before next Sunday before we enter Advent and that season of four Sundays which leads us up to Christmas. So today brings us to the end of one cycle in our church year and next Sunday, the beginning of a new liturgical year. But on the last Sunday of the church year, the theme is generally the theme of Christ the King. We remember Christ ascended in glory and seated at the Father's right hand in heaven. And we can picture in our mind's eye that wonderful image from the, the book of Revelation of the throne in heaven, the Lamb seated on the throne and surrounded by all God's faithful people, angels and archangels and people from every nation, tribe and language, giving worship to our God. We join in that sense of worship today as we remember Christ the King, our King in glory. In our service in the church hall today, the preacher will be Canon Charlie Lake, a good friend of our parish. Unfortunately, we're not able to record that service or to stream the service live online. So I'm sorry that we can't share Charlie's sermon with you in this online service. Our online service will simply be a service of readings and prayers and hymns. But I hope that you can still join in with that sense of worship. So let's turn now to our worship of God as we begin with our first hymn. The Lord be with you. The Bible says, Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth stand in awe of him. As we worship God today, may we be drawn together into a sense of awe and wonder. Yeah. 
In the first epistle of John, we read these words. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, God is faithful and just and will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And so we confess our sins to God, praying together, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy on you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our first reading this morning comes from Daniel chapter 7. Daniel's vision of the Ancient of Days, God's throne in heaven. And so Daniel writes, As I watched, thrones were set in place, and an ancient one took his throne. His clothing was white as snow, and the hair of his head like pure wool. His throne was fiery flames, and its wheels were burning fire. A stream of fire issued and flowed out from his presence. A thousand thousands served him, and ten thousand times ten thousand stood attending him. The court sat in judgment, and the books were opened. And as I watched in the night visions, I saw one like a human being coming with the clouds of heaven. And he came to the Ancient One and was presented before him. To him was given dominion and glory and kingship that all peoples, nations and languages should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that shall not pass away. And his kingship is one that shall never be destroyed. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. King of kings, majesty, God of heaven, Gentle Saviour, closest friend, strong deliverer, beginning and end. All within me falls at your throne, your majesty. Souls brought 
Our second reading is from the book of Revelation, chapter 1. In verses 4 to 8, we hear the first part of John's vision of the return of Christ. John writes, Grace to you and peace from him who is and who was and who is to come, and from the seven spirits who are before his throne. And from Jesus Christ, our faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead, and the ruler of the kings of the earth. To him who loves us, and freed us from our sins by his blood, and made us to be a kingdom, priests serving his God and Father. To him be glory and dominion for ever and ever. Amen. Look. He is coming with the clouds. Every eye will see him, even those who pierced him. And on his account, all the tribes of the earth will wail. So it is to be. Amen. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Worship, glory, praise and honor Oh 
Let us affirm our faith in God in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. And we pray as Christ our Lord commanded. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. And first we hear the collect of the Sunday before Advent. Eternal Father, whose Son Jesus Christ ascended to the throne of heaven, that he might rule over all things as Lord and King. Keep the Church in the unity of the Spirit and in the bond of peace, and bring the whole created order to worship at his feet, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And as we continue in prayer, our prayers use the response, Your kingdom come, your will be done. Father in heaven, today we give you thanks that your Son was raised from the humiliation of the cross to the glory of heaven. We offer our prayers through him who, as our great high priest, ever intercedes for us. We pray, Lord, for all who serve his church as bishops, priests and deacons and lay ministers or volunteers within the life of the church. Lord, give them grace to nourish your people through spiritual worship, sound teaching and pastoral care. Your kingdom come, your will be done. We pray for our Christian brothers and sisters in other places, for those who are persecuted or hated or deprived because of their faith. Lord, sustain their faith and strengthen our fellowship with them through prayer and practical support. Your kingdom come, your will be done. We pray for each other as we seek to be witnesses of Christ in our everyday lives and work. Lord, lead us by the Holy Spirit in the ways of Christ, that we may learn to speak and do as he would. Your kingdom come, your will be done. We pray for our Queen and government and for the leaders of the nations as they try to resolve the difficult issues confronting them. Lord, make them aware that they are accountable to God and guide them into policies that promote justice, reconciliation and opportunity for all. Your kingdom come, your will be done. And Lord, we pray for those who are dis facing distressing illnesses, increasing frailty or painful treatment. 
Lord, bring healing through the care that they receive from doctors and nurses, relatives and friends. We pray for those who are facing end of life or terminal illness. Lord, bring them your comfort and your peace and help them not to fear in the knowledge that you are with them. And we pray for those who have recently been bereaved. We remember this week the family circles and close friends of the late Clara Abbott and Ina Chisholm. Lord, grant them the comfort of your presence. Your kingdom come, your will be done. And so we pray Lord Jesus, Saviour and King, we have honoured you with our lips. Help us also to offer you our lives, that through us your light may shine. Amen. May the Lord of peace himself grant you his peace at all times and in every way. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Oh